Ready for episode 6? That's right. Super Smash Brothers Attack! Episode 6! Yeah, that was too dramatic. Today we do jammin' tunes. You obviously know it from the past couple episodes. Ultimate Chimera. Ah! Yeah, Mother 3 reference. Yeah, I'm all out with Mother 3 these days. Anyway, um, Ultimate Chimera ah! is basically, uh, stage hazards. Uh, there's Gamer's Guide, which is kind of like how to do something that's cool, unlock something, I guess. Wait, blah, blah. And Classic Smashing, where I do review something, you know, from the original Nintendo 64 Super Smash Bros., which I actually already know everyth ev everything about. It's time for Ultimate Chimera! Yeah, the stage hazard thing I just showed you. What? Fine, I like my life three. Just look at the picture. Low burr, blah, blah, blah. They've got hidden messages that are actually pretty obvious. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go on to the actual thing. What? You didn't seriously think I was going to do it and call Ultimate Chimera without rating, rating the Ultimate Chimera first in the entire thing? Well, if you did, then, well, I do not know how you were able to think. That's not gonna happen, cause you know that's just how that's just how it rolls with me. Anyway, uh, the ultimate chimera in Mother Three was a one-hit kill. You would instantly get a game over. Which, and in the New Park City stage, that reflects. As you can see by the next picture, if you end up actually having to be bitten or being bitten on accident by the ultimate chimera on New Park City in Brawl, there is like a less than a 1% chance that you will survive that bite. It's that strong. You can survive like if you have I don't know, I guess I could say that if you are insanely lucky, you will not get killed. Um, so I'm gonna read it. I am, I am weighing the Ultimate Chimera a 5 in damage, a 0 in recovery, A five in how much you want to avoid it, and a uh, let's see what's that fourth category again. And I'll just put it in for fun. And a five in awesomeness. Okay, there. Okay, now. Gamer's Guide, Tips, How-Tos, Stuff, yeah, it's just tips and how-tos, that kind of stuff. So, as an Earthbound fanatic, I proudly presume Ness! Ness has three different ways you can unlock him. The first way to unlock Ness is to do five brawls 
and then defeat him. Yes, I am doing it for SSBB, not Melee or SSB64. Wait, you can't unlock me Melee. Don't. The second method is to reflect ten things in a brawl, which is actually the easiest, because you can have Fox as player one and Fox as player two. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, you have player two shoot at Fox. At use his blaster on the first on the pl on player one who reflects it, and then player two reflects and blah blah blah. It keeps on going and going. The third way is to meet him in subspace emissary, which is very late and not recommended. The recommended way for me is method two because that is very easy. It's very easy. Five brawls. Um, that's easy too, but reflecting is very easy. So those are the five me three me three <laughs> three methods to do this. Now on to the final segment. Classic smashing. <laughs> okay, why did I do that? Um, yeah, let's find out about the original game. That's right. This is Final Destination. Not the movie. Uh, well, the stage in Super Smash Brothers. It was also called Master Hand's Residence. In it, you would play against the a character who has appeared in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. In it. Uh, one second. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, well, it... As far as I know, it is, um, l fixed with, uh, 300, uh, HP, like you should see there. It's a five-minute battle. <sighs> Brings back memories. The million times I had like three lives as Luigi trying to get Ness. It's one of those places that defines Super Smash Brothers fighting. It's a stage that is virtually hazardous yet extremely important to certain modes. So for this amazing fact, I rate it five out of Five for its amazing, amazingness that is just plain amazing. I salute you, Super Smash Brothers 64. Only available on Nintendo 64. If I get a Dazzle DVD recorder someday, I'm going to be posting proof that I actually have this game. I swear. <laughs>